Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Scorpio, September 15, 2022. Today's energies are good for a progressive spirit. You can feel on the brink of new ideas and solutions. Still, it's not a time to seek a commitment or direct answer. Something can feel up in the air. While pursuing a personal interest and doing your own thing can thrive, responses from others are less reliable temporarily. It can be difficult to know whether to stick with the tried and true or to branch out and do something all new. Mental pressures can be intense, especially as the day advances, but it's best not to rush things under this mindset. What do you want to commit to in your line of work? As Mercury trines Jupiter today, your ability to dream big is immense. This air-focused trine is perfect for brainstorming. Consider your current and past commitments in your field. How did they advance you? Now think about where you want to go in your work and what kind of agreements can get you there. Since this trine is talkative, you may want to put out some feelers for new opportunities, such as contracts, to progress in your career. Before leaving your income sector today the moon will form a friendly aspect to Pluto in your work sector, something that it does every month. This will leave you with an intuitive read on both income and job matters just three days before Venus, the planet of money is due to return to your work sector to begin a four-month mission to exploit both income and job potential. The planetary alignment of the day creates an energy that gives you a chance to express your wildest dreams. What does this mean for your health? Perhaps it's a moment when you will be able to envision what diet is right for your body. We can go an entire lifetime ignoring what our bodies truly need. Only your inner voice can direct you to what is truly healthy for you. Listen to your body for clues and heed the messages. Before leaving your income sector today the moon will form a friendly aspect to Pluto in your work sector and the timing couldn't be better. In the early days of the working week, this is a chance to merge a sharp nose for money with a growing sense of anticipation on the job front. This is something that happens every four weeks but for the first time since Pluto's direct turn and with Venus, the planet of money just three days away from your work sector, a sea change is underway. After clashing with Jupiter in your relationship sector over the weekend, something that may have put a balance between your personal and relationship needs to the test, the moon not only returns to your communication sector today but with perfect timing. The moon returns in time to squeeze out every advantage during Mercury, the planet of communication's final days here. You've been giving something a lot of thought. For instance, amidst its transit through your curious third house of communication, thought process, and immediate exchanges, Mercury will begin to approach its seasonal square to powerhouse Pluto via your responsible sixth house of daily rituals, acts of service, and due diligence. Try to not get caught up in the fussy details and keep your eyes on the prize. This is especially true when considering today's opposition between the moon in your stability-seeking second house of value systems and Neptune via your intimate eighth house of soulmate connections. Don't hesitate to stand your ground. Just having the moon in your career sector during the heart of the working week is an advantage and even more so as this will see the stars align across the income, work and career fronts over the coming days. However, what makes the timing even more significant is that it comes at a pivotal point in the year on all three fronts, with a lot of sea changes that are changing the whole dynamics of this professional and financial year. This is a day for trusting your heart and your gut. Two days after clashing with Mercury, in his early days in retrograde motion in your communication sector, the moon has moved on and any pressure is gone. Mercury will retrograde back out in 10 days and with Saturn in retrograde motion in your relationship sector, this has been the push needed to give your relationships, the past and unsaid words a voice. Our eyes in the sky. The moon takes its first steps in Taurus today. There is a real temptation to sleep in, so go ahead and rest if you need it and don't have any obligations to tend to. Then take the first half of the day slow and easy, giving yourself space to feel and process your emotions. Luckily, the moon is exalted, which gives our vitality a boost and helps perk us up a bit. 
It's a good day to focus on yourself and the things that make you happy. Switch your attention to simple pleasures and allow yourself to be a little bit superficial. It will help balance out yesterday's heavy energy. Rally around the people who make you feel valued and strong, and give yourself permission to let down your hair and laugh a bit. Creative inspiration often strikes when the moon is in Taurus, so keep a journal handy for any brilliant ideas you have during the day, or spend your time creating art to get your mind off other matters. Overnight, the moon cozies up with Venus, which lends you plenty of warm energy and fills your heart with gratitude and joy. You should be feeling a lot more like yourself tonight, so don't be afraid to appreciate and love yourself. Your wings may get clipped as far as professional progress is concerned. If you've been inappropriate with co-workers or clients recently, you may find an unwelcome surprise in your inbox. It's karma. If you need to apologize, do it and get back to a productive relationship. Cash follows your willingness to be a team player. In the early morning, the moon enters Taurus, ending its void of course which began last night. Over the next two days, creature comforts regulate our emotional equilibrium. Yet, we are inevitably destined to be rattled when the moon makes conjunctions to the lunar north node and Uranus. Both have been posted up in Taurus for some time, and our ability to flow with the unpredictable is becoming increasingly integral to our sense of safety. Despite the Taurus moon's penchant for using sensual or tactile means to achieve security, we are being shown the impermanence of material things, and the futility of using them as a crutch in place of embodied confidence. You're breathing new life into something you'd long since lost interest in, so much of your energy is moving in this direction. In fact, you may enjoy a lucky break that makes it happen for real this time. Make sure your cash flow remains steady by portioning it out carefully. You could be seeing your financial picture through rose-colored glasses. At night, the Taurus moon forms a quincunx to Mercury in Libra, stimulating confusion. Both signs are Venus-ruled, and the impulse to be pleasant, even in the face of trying circumstances, will be strong. A desire for harmony prevents us from seeing the reality of a situation, hampering our ability to deal with it directly. We must acknowledge that we are missing key facts. Certain conversations should be had to clear the air. However, when we search for our companions to set the record straight, they seem to vanish. The best course of action now is to remain vigilant. Commit to addressing the issue when better timing presents itself.